Now that my background is all the way dry, let's start to add some details to this picture. First thing I'm gonna add is a couple of lemon slices and some ice cubes in my lemonade. So to do that, I'm gonna use my medium round brush with some white paint. And my lemonade cubes, I'm just going to draw squares that are not all sitting the same way on my picture plane. So that means that I don't want them all being straight across. So I'm gonna make probably three, maybe five squares. I like to do things in odd numbers. So I got five squares of ice cubes. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to add a couple of lines of white inside of my ice cubes. Some going top to bottom, some going left to right. Just a couple lines of white to kind of darken my lemonade ice cubes up, but not, I don't want them all the way dark. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn them into cubes. And to do that, I am going to simply draw another little square on two sides. The only difference is, is these two edges are gonna be kind of getting closer together. So what that means, I'm gonna do this again, is on this top one right here, I'm going to draw a line that goes to the an angle and I'm gonna copycat that angle right there, but this line right here is gonna be shorter, connected. This line and this line are gonna match the same angle, but this line should be shorter, connected. So we're gonna make several cubes. Your cubes can go any direction you want. And they don't have to be real solid. So maybe this one, I didn't have a lot of room for a cube, so I'm just not gonna do it. Just don't worry about it. Next, I'm gonna add my lemonade, or my lemons. And to do that, you need to decide if your lemons are gonna be round slices or if they're gonna be half slices. I'm going to make mine be half slices. So I'm going to draw a straight line, still my same medium round brush, with a curve to it. And then inside that curve, I'm gonna do a polka dot right there and I'm going to connect a bunch of small little lines right there. Now you could put as many of these as you want in there. I'm only gonna have one because I'm gonna put a lemon slice up here on the top of my canvas. So right up here on the top left, I'm going to start by making a circle with yellow that is going to just kind of enclose that top corner of my jar. I'm gonna take white and I'm gonna fill it in and we're gonna have to let this sit here and dry for a little bit because as you can tell, you can see right through it. We don't wanna be able to see right through it. I'm just gonna paint this all the way around. I'm just gonna let that color kind of sit there. The more white you have on there, the more the color will kind of cover up. So definitely use some good white on there. Perfect. Now let's talk about some lemons and some greenery and some flowers. I'm gonna put two lemons outside of my jar and a couple of lemon slices. So lemon shapes, we're gonna do this the same way we did that. We're gonna draw the shape and then fill it in with white. Lemon shapes, they kind of look like football shapes, okay? So if you can imagine if you've got this football shape right here, and then at the end of it, you just add a small little rectangle, both ends, just a small little rectangle. You can kind of fill that in. Remember, I'm gonna fill it in with both yellow and white. That white's gonna help me really kind of drown out that teal color in the background. Now, to me, this lemon looks pretty small for how big that is. So I'm going to have to now extend this guy a little bit bigger. See, I've told you guys before, I don't remake my videos. I edit them as I go. Uh, because just like you guys, we're stuck at home until the coronavirus gets a hold of, or I guess until the doctors get a hold of the coronavirus and everybody gets well. So I try not to go to the art store every other day and buy new canvases and new paints. So I try to just kind of edit my video so that I make two of each. I make one while I'm doing the YouTube video 
and then make one for my live feed on Facebook. So I've got one lemon there. Now this lemon, I don't want to be at the same angle. So this lemon, I'm gonna have lay down. So I'm gonna have this lemon right here. He's gonna be a big old oval with two little nubs on the end. That's the top of the lemon and the bottom of the lemon. That's a much better sized lemon. Grab my white paint and fill it in. Perfect. Now I did say I wanna put a lemon slice and I'm gonna put my lemon slice right here in front of the jar. The great thing about adding this lemon slice in, if there's a part of the jar you don't love that's on the bottom, you just cover it up with a lemon slice and nobody will ever know it was there. So I'm gonna make my lemon slice right here. Paint that in, add my white. And again, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna add some more color to all of those. But while we're waiting on that, how about we go ahead and add our straw and our greenery in. So I'm gonna start for my straw with some white paint on a clean round brush. And my straw is going to go from about here into my jar. And all I'm doing is pressing my brush down. If I press my brush down, I get a nice solid even line. Pressing my brush down all the way in through here into my lemonade. And then I'm gonna just have it kind of disappear. Now that I have that on there, I'm gonna use my skinny brush with some pink paint and I'm going to make little lines, little diagonal lines all the way down. The reason I'm doing this is two things. Number one, everybody loves it when you go to a fancy party and they have really cool straws, okay? Second thing is, is that at least now you know where the straw is because before I had white and white. So at least now I know where my straw is in relationship to my painting. Perfect. I'm gonna actually take my paintbrush and kind of go right along the edge. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna pull some of that pink with it so that you can really see the outline of that straw. I don't want it to be a solid outline. I just wanna see a little bit of pink there. Perfect, love that straw. I'm gonna go back to my medium round brush to do my leaves. And my leaves, I'm going to do it just a very simple um, rounded bottom pointed top leaf. I'm going to use both green and yellow on the same brush. I'm not going to mix them. I'm going to mix them right on my canvas. And I'm going to create a leaf that is a rounded bottom leaf. And it just kind of points to the top and it goes a little bit to the side. Perfect. Now, if these are looking a little bit too dark for you, there's an easy way to fix that. You get your green, your yellow, and a glob of white. And you're gonna do it again, a smiley face shape. And then it's like a teardrop with some sass. A teardrop with some sass means that it's kind of got an edge to it that's turning up. Definitely think I like that lighter color on there. I'm gonna add one more with that group and add the guy in front. So this one is going to be right here in front of these other two. He's kind of the boss of the lemon leaves. Now that I've got those on there, I'm gonna to go to the other side and I'm gonna add a couple more and I'm gonna make these come right on over here. Oops, I forgot my white. Make this one kind of point downwards. And this more dark green of that one was a little bit too light for me. Okay, 
great. Now I'm gonna add a couple of flowers and that's why I have my, my pink paint here. Um, I'm gonna add a couple of flowers just because I thought this picture needed something that was a little bit more pink than just the straw. So I'm gonna take my yellow paint and I'm gonna add maybe four or five, six dots, somewhere in that general area. And these are gonna be my flowers. So the yellow is gonna be the center of my flower, but the pink, watch how I do this. It's gonna be like a triangle, but there's gonna be a little curve at the bottom and then it's gonna triangle up. So a little curve at the bottom and triangle up. If you need to use your skinning paintbrush for that, you can. Curve at the bottom and triangle up. Curve at the bottom and triangle up. You might be able to get four or five petals on these. I like to think about these as being almost the star fruit flower. My kids love getting the star fruit. I think it's the coolest fruit ever because it looks like a star. I'm just gonna add all these little five little dots on here. Now I'm not gonna go on top of my lemon yet. I'll come back and get that little petal because I wanna be able to finish my lemon up first. So if you have um, any of your flowers that are gonna be touching your lemon, you might wanna wait till after we put the final touches on our lemon before you add those extra petals in. Or you can make your petals go behind your lemon. That's another option. So remember, this is just a curved line with a pointed top. So it's almost like a triangle that has a, a belly to him. A belly triangle. I'm gonna go revisit some of my lemons here. See if we can finish our lemons up. First one up here, I'm gonna add more white paint to it. Oops, I just flung white paint on my canvas. Or smear that in. Nobody will ever know, except for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put my white on here. I think this is blending a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a break. There's gonna be three parts to this video. The last part is gonna be the detail on the background. I'll see you guys in a little bit.